Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on weapons in Daisy Standalone. Weapons are used by survivors in Daisy to fend off bandits and zombies. There are several types of weapons in Daisy. Uh, a number of melee weapons, uh, including baseball bat, firefighting axe, wood splitting axe, pipe wrench, shovel and crowbar as well as a few others. There's two rifles and two pistols. There's two rifles in DAISY. One is the M4A1. Now the M4A1 is a fairly common military weapon that can be found in military installations and buildings all around Chernarus. The M4 uses 5.56mm ammo. It seems to currently be the weapon of choice in DAISY, although I think the Mosin is much superior. It will kill in two shots or one if it's a headshot. Accuracy can be a problem with this gun. Let's have a little shot up here. It's got a high rate of fire, as you can tell. The recoil is, well, let's say moderate. The noise is fairly moderate. It has got zeroing by pressing the page up and page down buttons. You can zero it, although really this is just a close quarters combat weapon. It's relatively uncommon, but uh, you find lots of players do find them, and there's a lots of players running around with these weapons. You can get various attachments with this weapon. This this actually hasn't got any sort of special attachments on, it's apart from the multiple mag, which you can pick up at various military establishments. This mag actually holds 60 shots. Um, but you can get butt stocks, handguards, sights and optics, bipods, and bayonets for this weapon. It is inaccurate with the default stock, stock and, uh, and handguard. You need to get close as possible to your target with this rifle in order to have a good outcome. Although some of the attachments are reported to increase accuracy. I'm not sure if that's the case as yet. So what about the Mosin? The Mosin is currently my weapon of choice if I can find one. It's a bolt action, it takes 7.62mm ammo, it is sufficiently powerful and it can be fitted as well with a variety of attachments, especially this nice scope zoom here. There's another scope which is useful for sort of shorter range combat and you can get uh, like bayonets for the end of it and other little bits and pieces. It's not, uh, it can't take as, many, uh, as much ammo as the M4, just five shots in a magazine, or you can actually just uh, put one, one shot in, one bullet in at a time, chamber one round, if you haven't got a magazine for the, for the gun. Again, similar to the other gun, two, one to two shots in the body to kill, one headshot to kill. It's a slow rate of fire, it is a bolt action, so you need to hit with your first shot, uh, really, in order to have a good outcome. The recoil is pretty high, the noise is very high, and you've got zeroing again using the page up and page down buttons, um, up to about 800 meters, I believe, with the scope. Where's it found? Residential, civilian, industrial, farms, shipwrecks. It's fairly rare, so if you get one, I'd, I'd take one. Um, the ammo for it is Again, moderate, I was found in all in military places and also in other places, some, some red brick houses, uh, barns and things like that. Uh, pretty decent gun all round. Uh, the FNX 45, I think it's called, or the FNX, is uh, the first of the pistols. 15 rounds in a magazine. The magazines are fairly hard to come by. The pistols and the magazines, again, military, mainly in military buildings uh, and other military establishments. Two shot kill um, to the body, kill to the head. Uh, the, is low. the noise is sort of average. Um, 
And that's about it really. It's pretty decent against zombies. Good against players if you're close up. The Magnum is a double action Colt Python revolver with a 6 inch barrel. It can hold up to 6 rounds of 0.357 ammo. So 6 rounds. Uh, again like the other pistol it's 2 hit body and 1 hit to the head to kill. The recoil with this is pretty high, the noise is high as well, and found in general military buildings. Let's have a quick. And so far as the ammo is concerned, um, the ammo uh, can be picked up in magazine form or in bullet form. Uh, if you see, you can see uh, the odd bullets lying around, they look something like this. Um, for the Mosin, you can actually load these straight into the gun in sets of five. With the um, the uh, M4, then you can either find again single bullet, uh, single sets of bullets, or or you can find magazines. I'll just split this. You can empty the bullets out of the magazine, or you can replace the bullets into a magazine. And then you can load your magazine onto your gun or your bullets in the case of a Mosin onto your gun just by dragging them and putting them onto the Mosin and the load ammo. Thus, you can also save a little bit of room in terms of ammo if you've got these ammo boxes. And uh, so these ammo boxes, I believe, have six slots, and uh, you can just keep loading any spare ammo that you find into those but of course before you use them for the M4 you have to load these bullets into a magazine first so for example I could just fill that magazine up and that magazine is fully loaded ready for the M4 or you can just drag these I believe straight into the magazine if you're required thus You can also change your weapons as you're running. So at the moment I'm running without any weapons. And as you see on the taskbar, I've got the Mosin in slot 1, a uh, pistol in slot 2, a pistol in slot 3, and a hatchet in slot 4. So if I press 1, he should, he says, press 1, he should take out his Mosin. And then if I press slot 2, the revolver comes out. She does stop briefly. Slot 3, pistol comes out. He does slot, stop briefly, so you do stop briefly for getting the side arms out. But if I get the hatchet off my back, I won't stop running. And if I replace the hatchet for the Mosin, I will stop. I will continue to run. If I change it for the pistol, which I get out of my infantry, I will briefly stop and then continue running, and then back to the Mosin, which will just come straight out and put the Mosin away and you continue running at full speed. You will run faster without anything in your hands than if you do have something in your hands. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope some of it helps some people who have just started out in Daisy Standalone and I'm going to leave you with just a little montage of me killing some zombies with various weapons. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.